Now, I'm going to be tying this fly here. This is a, a Wickham's Fancy. Uh, it's a variant anyway, the Wickham, Wickham's Fancy. The only thing I've done is I've used a uni thread, a fire orange thread, to give it a small tag that you see at the back and obviously the head. Normally it would just be black thread, there's no tag on it, but everything else would be the same. Now this is a wet fly. Um, it's a fly I tie a lot for a friend that fishes up north in Scotland. And it does extremely well with this, this pattern. I mean, the Wickham's Fancy is a great fly anywhere, so it's a great pattern to tie. Uh, thread, I say, I'm going to be using this uni thread uh, and fire orange and 8 Now I'm just going to run the wax through to get it started. Now when you start the thread at the eye, put a layer of thread down. Now the hook I'm using is the all-purpose medium, and it's a size 12. It's a light, or a medium wire hook, sorry. Just going to remove the waste and then just slow the bend slightly and come up onto where the shank starts to basically level out and that forms a small tag. Now you could put a wee touch of varnish on that which would protect it a wee bit but I found that it's okay, it lasts as long as the thread's waxed it, it stays there. Now the medium wire hook is just slightly lighter, it'll set the fly a wee bit high, higher. Now I'm tying, this is on a, the competition heavyweight, it's slightly heavier, it gets down a wee bit so I'm tying on both so it's worth having a lighter version just to lift the fly that we keep it a wee bit higher. Now for the tail, now I'm using Chinese sort of cock neck and a hen neck. And this is just a natural brown. Just using one of the bigger feathers for the some tail fibres. So I'm just going to bring them 90 degrees out from the stem. Should line the tips up. Once they've lined up, tear them away. You're looking for a length about the shank length. Just tie that on. Do a couple of turns just to hold. That looks okay. I'm going to trim this length of the body, which is there. So you need a couple of mil from the eye to work with to put the wing in and then the front hackle on. Now, the rib of the fly, I'm just using a fine or a small gold wire, which will protect the body and hold the hackle. Now, two turns there to hold that tail. I'm going to go back one and then come on with a single turn just to, just to hold the wire at this point. Now, I'm using a gold tinsel. This is a dark gold or an old gold as you would call it. It's silver on one side, gold the other. Now I want the gold side so I'm just going to put a point into the tin, into the, it's not exactly a tinsel, it's more a mylar which is a synthetic, not sort of metal. So there's the taper there, that gives it a good start so we tie this in with the silver facing myself and with the taper cut on top and then we'd work our thread up. You want a nice base of thread down for winding your tinsel on to get to that point there. And then with the taper cut as being at the back of the hook, it starts it off much better. And then we can work our way up. Slightly overlapping each turn as we wind up to form a sort of taper in the body. Come over with your thread with two or three turns to secure it in. We can tidy this area up a wee bit. Now when you tie in a, a cock hackle, the smaller one. So see these are just the Indian cock necks, they're really cheap. And then you can see in this case it's dark down the bottom, which I don't mind. And I'm just going to remove the fluff. Trim this in. You could use a genetic hackle, it's up to yourself. There's a turn there to hold them, just going to be able to make sure there's wax on my thread. Screw that in. Now we've got my hackle pliers. There's really small hackles these. Now what I like to do is do like a, a good turn to the top to get it started. And then just down about three to four turns. Now we get to this point here, I come round with a full turn at the back, protecting the back of the, the body, come up, start to catch in with a hack on the way up, work my way through, ribbing the, the body, the fly and securing in the hackle. I'm just going to take away these hackle pliers, you can break the tip off by doing that, but keep a hold of the wire really tight. Then we stroke back the fibres, come straight up with the wire, follow up with the thread, 
that ninth degree bend into the, the wire then continue down towards the eye and then we can bend and break away the wire that, that's there, that's enough fibre on there to give an impression of the fly or the, without overdressing it, as I say, if you could, if you want to make it, so it could be a dry fly as well as a, a wet fly, this pattern, you could put a cock hack on front, but in this, this case being a wet fly, I'm, I'm putting the, the hen hack on front, there a wee bit of wax, take away the excess and come back down, ready for our wing. Now our wings are formed with the mallard, these are the primary feathers, grey mallard feathers, now you need a right and a left and you can see, I've actually used a what I normally do is the needle's the easiest thing to do to get a, a wing the right width to suit the fly so you need to say a right and a left side to bring this back together to the right size says your double needle you can either cut it off or tear it off most times I just tear it off make sure they're both the same same width, the right and the left. Now you want the natural curve, the fibre to come in itself. Now what I like to do is get the tips lined up. Now you're seeing the underside of the wing. Now they're just a wee touch too much in this, this one here. So I'm using the double needle again. It's very easy just to remove a couple of fibres. Take them away. Same with the top. See, I mean, they can do that. Keep them together. Bring them in so that they're meeting, so you can see the tips and the natural curve is going to come in itself. Length, just to the back of the hook. And then we can fold them down either side. Pinch and loop. Come down with a couple of pinch and loop, tons of thread, securing the wing in. We quite look now, lots of times I go back, I'm not happy. The overall shape of that looks okay, and once you put the hackle on, it'll be fine. So I'm happy with that, so I'll continue with a couple of more turns. It doesn't have to be perfect, this is a fishing fly. We have a wax on my thread, continue towards the eye, come back up, start it a couple of mil from the, the eye. We get our hen neck, there's our hen neck, same colour, this natural brown colour. Now the hen, I like the fibres longer than the body. There we are. Now I'm going to tie this in by the tip. To see, you want the fibre length to be longer than the body. So we catch this in with the good side or the front of the hackle facing myself. A couple of turns and fold it back. Slap your fingers back. There's a tip, then we can break that away, continue with a thread down a wee bit, then we're going to wind our hackle. Now don't be shy, this being a wet fly, and the hackle fibre, as I say, is slightly longer than the body. We went nice straight turns, we fold the fibres back to straight turns, one turn in front of the other, keep working my way down. I don't know, oh, that's fine. Now, you see, when I come up here, I follow, hackle straight up, I follow up with the thread and put a 90 degree bend into the, the hackle, which as you can see opens, takes away these fibres so the thread turn and get right into the stem. Now, a, these hackles are really easy to work with, they've got a really thin stem, and I can fold that back and I can tuck it back hold the stem back and then form a nice head with the thread keep the thread tight I can then break it off and then I can get in wet finish and there we are that's the variant of the Wickham's Fancy uh, as I say the only difference is that I've used a different colour thread normally it would be black and you see it's a nice shape it's an easy fly to tie uh, it's a nice colour combination but you can't go far wrong and then all you have to do is a wee coat of varnish. You can apply it with a needle or you can do it with a brush. Just be careful, but I usually just put it onto the eye area. I don't mind filling it up because I can always clear it out.
and then you can use a piece of feather or a piece of wire or even a dubbing needle to clean out the eye and there we are and that's as I say the Wickham's Fancy it's a slight variant uh, it's a good one and tied in 14s, 12s, 10s work extremely well um, as I say a lot of people like to fish the old style wet flies but the, this is a fly that I would recommend for the lochs and uh, even the river that will do well in the river so I hope you enjoyed that and that's the variant of the Wickham's Fancy